Vlogmas! Day 13 for you, 12... No, 14 for you, 13 for us. Mum's in a rush today, so we're going to do her first, if that's all right. Okay. Because she's got... I think Dad's in you, the you brought me in for my outside chores. Yeah, all right, then, yeah. Dad first. They've got, they've got a guest coming for lunch. Got the table so. Who, um... I'm now at 13 and I have no idea where it is. Down at the bottom somewhere. Oh, 13. Do you think? Yes. It's no. like one of those dot pictures where you have to... Re relax your eyes. Relax your eyes. And just, oh, 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 they look different. Oh, these peanuts. There are, I would say, honey-coated peanuts. <laughs> Let us know yeah. in the comments down below what they actually are. If Dad's correct. Yeah, correct. well, I mean, they're definitely yeah, peanuts. Yeah. From the, um, we know that, yes. They're red peanuts. Yes. But what are they? <laughs> what do they taste like? Chili? Peanuts. Mm. Are they? Yeah, they are nice. They're um, very similar to um, the flavours on the other nuts, just a different kind of nut. Good job you like mm. nuts. <laughs> very good. Good. Mm. Not your favourite? Midpoint. Okay. Mm. Good. Things could get better. Okay. <laughs> oh, yours is really easy. Oh, yes. 13, was it? Yes. <laughs> can you can 13. you find thirteen? <laughs> Yay! Oh, what is it this time? Is Ooh. it squishy? Yeah. You're not quite in shock. Yeah, it's, it's it's a nice sort of you know materially type parcel. Quite a lot of material, I would think. Oh, that's the nice green that goes with it. That is your cushion backing. <clears throat> yes, and there might even be enough if we did do a well four cushion. Indeed. Oh, it's the, I see. It's that backing. Yes. Yeah, I was just wondering if it'd be enough to go there. No, it, it makes the entire cushion. It makes the back and the front of the oh, cushion. Right. The thing is, there mm. might actually be another project in this calendar. Another one? Yes. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. I, 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 I ordered it, so I remember. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, you might change your mind about what you want to do with it. Mm. Just, just okay. saying. Just saying. What have I got? Mine's at the top. Mm. Oh look, it's a Bailey's truffle. Mm. Shocking. Yeah, you've got dark chocolate, mm. you're happy. Mm. So mum is currently prepping for roast dinner. Mm -hmm. Where did the table go? In the office. Oh. Um, Unfortunately, nobody's bought it yet. Yes, the, the little table, the sofa table that we have and that we're currently trying to use as a dining table isn't sufficient to purpose. <laughs> Maybe for two people, but for three people or more, it doesn't work. Yeah, so um, we're trying to sell that one. Mm -hmm. And we've got, I've got a long Ikea table that they're going to put up for now and then put a, a tablecloth over the top of it to make it much, look much more beautiful. But yes, they're having roast chicken lunch with mum's friend from many years ago who has actually recently moved to the village just around the corner and she has been in isolation for over two weeks now but she is able to come to another household and uh, yeah they're having they're having lunch together we trained to be nurses together yes so i have 72 wow. <laughs> Wow. That's nearly 50 years ago. Yeah, wow. unbelievable. And we've kept in touch at Christmas ever since. So I am. I have a live stream today, which I'm hoping to get the Deer and Doe looping jacket finished. I think I should be able to. I made good progress on it last night, as you guys will have seen in yesterday's vlog. So yeah, that's that's the plan for today. Trying to vlog and live stream at the same time. Let's see how that goes. I am all set up for the live stream. I've got the rest of the jacket under my cardigan, which I am going to put on because it's chilly. I have my tea and my advent chocolate. And that's how far I got yesterday. So there's a full lining under there and the body of the jacket is complete as well. So I'm going to need to do shoulder epaulets, sleeves, put the lining and the outer together, cuffs and waistband. So not too much to do and I should be able to get it done. You're wonky, never mind. Ignore the wonk. The internet's died and I, I restarted it and started the stream again and then it died again so I've given up for today. It's quarter to four so we didn't do too badly but I, I really wanted to finish the Deer and Doe Lupin on screen with the, with the peeps but never mind. So I didn't get them to say hi to you guys either in the vlog. I'm sorry about that. It's not how this afternoon was meant to go. One of Wilson's presence has arrived it's a card game called kill your friends it's kind of like uno but with murder so i thought he'd enjoy that so that arrived even though it's a sunday hermes delivered and uh, i have another cup of tea i have a biscuit i've got to the point where i am 
stitching or pinning and I'm going to stitch around the outside of the jacket to sew it all together to then turn it through to then put the cuffs on and do some top stitching and it'll be done so I'm very close to being finished with this just a little bit annoyed about the live stream but never mind never mind it is one of those things the joys of living in St Lawrence so yeah I'm gonna get this done time lapse for you so some time lapse music today which was not meant to be happening but never mind <laughs> been a success well I mean it was great but it didn't last as long as I would like it to but I did get my jacket finished so this is my dear and doe Lupin jacket which has fancy lining I really like it I knew I would as I say this is the fourth one of these that I've made and really pleased with it I've added an inch of length to the bodice and an inch of length to the sleeves just really like this. I have also added interfacing to the front panels on only on one side. The pattern only tells you to add interfacing to one of the back yokes. So I decided to give that uh, some extra interfacing in this a try for this one. And I really like how it's come out. I like the little epaulette detail on the shoulder. It's intended to be worn with these kind of dresses and skirts and when I get round to it, the trousers as well. I really like how it looks with this particular dress, colour-wise and also style-wise. I like that it nips in at the waist. It doesn't have any fastening, fastenings it's not meant to. As I mentioned, I think it you can put welt pockets into the sides here, but they're kind of pockets up here, and I just, I mean, I have giant pockets in the skirts 
of these dresses and I'm planning on putting pockets in the skirts that I'm going to make to go with this and also the trousers so I just yeah I felt that they weren't necessary they look really nice as a design feature but I just wouldn't use them so I haven't done them so this makes this a very quick make it's a very easy jacket to make definitely recommend this for like a first first go at making a jacket kind of thing I definitely want to make myself another denim one because the denim one that I'd made previously was definitely a lightweight version it was more of a shirting weight dress weight denim than it was an outerwear kind of weight one this fabric again is maybe ever so slightly on the light side but I think it works and it is heavier than the previous denim one that I've made obviously this is a brushed cotton twill I got this from fabric.com it's called sweet potato they do have some left and I will link it down in the description below I'm really really pleased with it I, I mean I knew I would be I knew this is a style that I liked it'll work really well in with my wardrobe with the current wardrobe and the, the bits that I've got planned for the capsule collection got stray threads that I need to trim thought I'd got them all but I missed one so yeah very pleased with this let me show you the interior. I'm quite surprised how far this fabric is going actually. But I suppose the you know the the inside of this is a lot smaller than the outs you know the amount of fabric that goes into the outside of this. But I really like this Lady McElroy Shanghai bouquet cotton uh, not cotton sateen, poly satin. It's really nice. I think it looks great on the inside of this. One of the things that I've been trying to do with this collection is make more pieces in solid colours and more strategic pieces in solid colours. So, for example, this jacket, the green trench coat that I got finished, I'm making some solid coloured pairs of trousers. I'm also making solid coloured shirts and blouses and tops to go in with this collection. They're going to be going really well with the print dresses that I have like this one and then the skirt that I made and things like that. So that's what I'm planning and trying to do is make a, a mixture of things that all work really well with each other. As I mentioned I have another Deer and Doe Lupin jacket which I love. I really really love this but I don't wear it very often because it is so bright and loud. So this time I've gone for solid on the outside and then bright floral pattern on the inside as opposed to this one which is solid on the inside and then bright and flat loud on the outside and I think both of these have their place in my wardrobe and I'm really glad I have this one but it obviously wouldn't look great with this so that's why I'm thinking with the coating or the outer pieces that I'm trying to make I'm going to mainly do them in solid so that they go mix in really well with all of the other pieces that I want to make so yeah very happy with this. I am going to spend the rest of the evening editing this, getting that uploaded. I have some other bits and pieces of admin to get done this evening, so I'm going to do those as well. And then I shall be continuing to watch How to Get Away with Murder. I am really enjoying it. I was waxing lyrical about it in the Hangout today, and I think I mentioned it to you guys earlier when the Hangout finished and I had to uh, amuse myself for the rest of the afternoon. So yes, I'm going to carry on watching that. I'm looking forward to seeing how they tie everything in, the, the little sneaky peeks that they're showing you at the moment. It's quite an interesting storyline that's developing. So that's been my day. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!